Hey everyone, welcome to FilterGrade. Today, we're going to go look at a simple tutorial about how to dehaze footage. Haze occurs when the darker tones in your video turn out more gray than black. This usually doesn't look very good, and you need to dehaze this footage. There are several ways to do this, and we're going to cover multiple here in this video. Funny enough, Premiere Elements has a dehaze effect built in, and of course so does Lightroom. But Premiere Pro makes it a bit harder, probably because we're all pros and we can figure it out ourselves. I'll be working with this footage I took years ago on a Panasonic digital camera. Pictures and videos with it always had a lot of haze that needed editing, and this video is no different, making it the perfect candidate for today's tutorial. So the very first method that some online have suggested is importing your entire sequence into Lightroom and applying dehaze to all of them, then re-importing all of those images as a sequence. But that's potentially messy, and you'll have a lot of files, and there are much easier ways. So just don't do that one. Method number one, adjusting contrast. The absolute easiest way to dehaze footage quickly is simply by adjusting the contrast. If you're experiencing grayish blacks, you can bump that up. You can also turn down the blacks or the shadows depending on the exact look that you prefer. Each option will do something different, but adjusting the contrast will generally have the best look and will get rid of those signature grayish blacks. Unsharp Mask The unsharp mask effect will also work well for some dehazing. Apply the effect to your footage and adjust the radius until you notice the image getting more contrasted and more sharp. Then reduce the amount until it looks more natural and blended. Done right, this will create additional contrast, even once your contrast under Lumetri color is maxed out, if that still isn't dark enough for you. The layers method. This method uses layers and multiple effects to dehaze footage. Start by duplicating your footage, apply the black and white effect to the top clip, then apply the invert effect to that. Set the clip opacity to the subtract blend mode. Adjust the opacity of this layer until your footage is dehazed to your liking. You can also continue to adjust the Lumetri color in both settings to adjust exposure, blacks, whites, and things like that until it looks perfect. Cineon Converter Cineon Converter is a filter that converts your footage. You don't need to understand how the converter works on a technical level, but some users online have created a handy guide for using this filter in order to dehaze footage, and it looks fantastic. First apply the filter to your footage, then change the conversion type to log to log. Set the 10-bit black point to 25, and change the gamma to 5. Leave the other values the same. This should dehaze your footage as well as balance out your whites and blacks pretty nicely. So those were several methods of dehazing. There are obviously a lot of ways to accomplish this effect, and all of them can be supplemented with additional color grading and color correction to get the exact look that you want. 
So say goodbye to hazy footage and let us know if you have your own way of dehazing footage that you like. Make sure to like this video if it helped you, and subscribe for more video editing tutorials like this one, and we'll see you in the next video. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. And if you're looking for professional LUTs, Lightroom desktop and mobile presets, Premiere Pro templates, and more photo and video education, visit filtergrade.com today.